Yes, we're back. Back again for another first look at a new game, and this time it's Lawn Mowing Simulator. Uh, one that I've had my eye on uh, for a while, and uh, been given the opportunity to uh, bring this to you early, the day before its uh, official release. Uh, so we'll jump in, uh, start a new career, and go mowing some lawns. Grab that guidebook to Lawn Mowing Simulator, and let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. If you're new to my content, then welcome indeed. This is going out as an extra video uh, because of uh, uh, the fact that I could bring it to you a day before release, uh, a time uh, and a day that I don't normally put my first looks out on. Uh, normal content for me, though, is OMSI, generally on a Monday, uh, uh, trains on a Wednesday, on a Friday, a combination of farming, tourist bus, and all sorts of things. Uh, on a Saturday, some trucking, and normally on a Sunday uh, is where I put these first looks looks at uh, new games uh, so we will jump straight in and uh, create a new career and we'll play with the tutorials uh, so that uh, you can see them uh, and uh, okay so company name uh, we will enter our company name as uh, sims and stuff and uh, company logo we can choose uh, from any one of these uh, predetermined uh, logos we'll go with the little one with the lawnmower on it and we can now edit our players appearance so uh, player name uh, we will obviously uh, call ourselves Steve because why not um, the avatar you can choose between uh, all the different looks as to how you'll look um, Let's go back and choose one. Uh, we'll go with that one. We can change our hat. So we can change our hat color uh, if we uh, so wished. Uh, we'll stick with the black one. Logo placement. So we can place our logo. And uniform colors. So primary color. We can go with uh, black. And secondary color should we want to we can change the uh, the highlights there as to how we look and that should be it and start the career mode <clears throat> we can uh, go for a test drive in the two types of, uh, of vehicle we've got available to us so we've got three thousand uh, pounds in the bank so we can do the mulcher deck type. This vehicle is equipped with a mulcher deck type. This means as you cut the grass, it, clippings are cut so small, no visible blades are left. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine, which will mean the deck doesn't have the power to cut the grass. So we can either go with the type that mulches or the type that collects it. Uh, I quite like the idea of doing the mulchy one because you've got to collect it. Um, so 33 inch, 44 inch. That one seems better. So we can take it for a, a test drive and see how things go. We are using, or well, I am using the uh, Xbox controller uh, for this. You can use uh, mouse, etc. Okay. So uh, we can then uh, move ourselves forward, get in the vehicle. Hold X to start the engine. Oh, that's change of view. There we go. So that's our view, is the right stick, just getting used to uh, the controls. Use that to change the throttle. So you bring the throttle up and use the right trigger to accelerate. The view's quite high. I change the View. Okay, and use up and down to change the cut height. So you got to change. Th so when you're actually mowing, the client will depict how high or how low they want their uh, their grass. So down the bottom right-hand corner there, you've got the cut height. So five, six, seven centimeters, or all the way down to two and a half centimeters. And then we've got to click uh, X to engage 
cutting blades. Once you once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready for first setting the cut height and then engage the cutting blades. You should only ever turn your blades when the uh, when on the grass, otherwise you'll damage them. When on contracts, you'll be required to cut the grass to a certain height. Each contract will have its own height and the grass needs to be cut to this. Set your cut height uh, within the range of 5 to 6 centimetres and cut 20% of the grass. When cutting, you can track your progress with the bar in the top right. The progress bar shows how much of the required amount you've cut. Gra uh, cu grass cut at the correct amount fills the bar white. Grass that's too short fills red. Okay, so we've got to uh, do 5 and 6. Uh, oh, okay, we've... So, five and six, so six centimetres. Right, now we can uh, go. We can actually bring that camera down. That's the lowest we can go. Okay, seems a bit of a strange angle, but okay, we'll go with that. Let's uh, increase the throttle. Engage the blades. So we're at six centimeters. Let's go cut grass. I'm overloading my engines. You can see at the uh, the top there how much progress we've uh, made. There we go, zoom out a little bit so you can actually see the garden. So we're 1% done. So uh, using the Xbox controller I can actually get quite a fine um, throttle control. Because obviously you don't want to overload your engine. There's loads of different lawnmowers um, that you can progress up to. Some have got huge um, cutting uh, widths. Let's, uh, let's see if we can jump straight out. Can we exit this or we'll go back to the thing I suppose. We've got to go back to our trailer. So we've had our demo. So let's trundle back to our uh, our trailer, which is up here. There it is. There you go. You can actually see a bit better now. Bring this throttle back down then. There you go. So I should now be able to hopefully. Uh, can I get off the thing? Or is it not going to? It's not going to let me, is it? Okay, I've actually got to finish the whole thing. Okay, no, we can do that then. It shouldn't take long, hopefully, to uh, go back and uh, uh, there we go. So you can see the bit that we've done. So if we we're doing it neatly, we wouldn't want too much of an overlap. Let's do it back there. Uh, if I 
holding right stick while stationary, you can engage Pro View, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut to required height. Well, there we go. So, all the bits that are flashing, basically. Which I sort of know that, because I haven't cut them yet. That would explain why they haven't been cut, because they haven't been cut yet. Oh, I'm overloading my thing. I imagine places that sell lawnmowers have got really well cut bits of grass. Right, there's got to be a way of... So we can't cut the engine while we're uh, still on the uh, still on the grass. So let's see if we can head back to that uh, that trader again because we're only going for the demo. So we can just get out of the demo. No. Well, there we go. Uh, so we'll quit because it's only the demo. Right now, let's go and see if we can take a contract then. Uh, purchase vehicle. After completing your test drive, you can now purchase a vehicle. If you like, you can test the other available vehicle. No, I think we're going to go with that one. Uh, we'll accept that. There we go. Right, now we can uh, choose jobs. So you get them in the map. We've only got one to choose from here. Once you select a contract, you can see the information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee and vehicle. Select either an employee or vehicle upon the next level. So, cutting width between 5 and 6. They want 99% of it cut. Um, recommended cut time 26. Uh, so, it's me. And vehicle, I've only got one. So, that's that. And we'll confirm... And we'll start. So we move to the uh, to the required garden. So between five and six centimeters, and we get 350 for doing it. All right. So here's our garden, looking quite nice. I'm sure I'll ruin that. I'm pretty sure I'll ruin that. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass area that could either be damaged or damaged the vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check. And have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower. But something you don't own money or RP. So uh, let's have a quick wander around. There's three objects apparently um, that are going to uh, damage my vehicle. Let's have a quick wander around uh, the grass and see if we can see them. Oh, there's one. So pick up object. So a newspaper. I'm guessing here's two. That's two. So we've got uh, three minutes to go and find our next object. Which uh, hopefully is back around this other side then. So it does look really nice. Okay, where are you? Oh, there we go. There we go. Return to vehicle. Might have got a flash car there, isn't he? Okay. Uh, with the ground check complete, it's time to start the cutting some grass. Start up your vehicle and drive over to the lawn to begin. So, start the engine. Increase the throttle. Do the accelerating. And we'll start there. Uh, cut height between 5 and 6. So we'll bring that down to 6. 
lower the deck engage the blades the performance during cutting will affect how much money and RP reputation you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between uh, speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging the flowers or lawn whilst cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. So you've got to do it quickly, but you've got to do it uh, accurately and not kill too many of their flowers basically. Okay, view uh, a bit of a thing there. But yeah, it does look really good. I definitely think it's one of those games that obviously you earn money by uh, cutting lawns as we're doing here. And then uh, you make money. So, you know, you're only 350 from this lawn. Technically then, 10 lawns. And I'm guessing you can progress up and buy another um, view right uh, by another mower and then would gain um, reputation so you could probably get another employee and build up your mowing empire All right, so we're around the outside first. That's lap one done. There we go. Oh, missed a bit. There we go. Might go around for lap two. So it should be easier now because we've got that bit that uh, we've done. So definitely one of those uh, therapeutic games. If you like Farm Sim and those sort of uh, games where it's quite nice to you know finish things, and it's quite cool that you can see uh, how far you've been. It did say 26 minutes, I think, was the uh, ideal time. We're 25% cut. So it doesn't take that long. So down at the bottom, you've got uh, condition of the mower. So I'm guessing with each lawn uh, that we do, the, uh, the mower will get uh, worse condition-wise. So I'm going to be streaming this. There'll be a couple of links down in the description below. If you're watching this on the day the video goes live on uh, YouTube, uh, I'm going to be streaming it on uh, on Twitch uh, on the day of release. So uh, there'll be a link to a Twitch page uh, down below. Uh, there'll also be a link to the awesome uh, Discord community as well down there. And of course a link to where you can uh, purchase the game on Steam. Right, 35% done. Yeah, definitely quite a uh, therapeutic uh, game. I quite like the uh, just trundling around the garden. Just mowing some lawns. And there's uh, loads of different types of uh, lawns, obviously quite a few different types of, uh, of vehicles, which I will show more of on that uh, stream, but this is just a quick little first look and first lawn, so we'll carry on from this uh, career on that stream. Right, 
45% of the way there. It might not be the most perfectly cut lawn. And the audio is quite good. We've got the sound of the mower, obviously, but chirping in the background. The garden's done really well. graphically looks very nice right over 50% done If I owned a house like this, I probably would have a ride on mower. Although if I had uh, lots of money, yeah, I think I would employ a gardener. Alright, 65% of the way there careful now as we get uh, towards the end that uh, we're going to be cutting quite close to these uh, flower beds and things and uh, we do lose reputation points if we uh, go over the flower beds prefer this mower to the one with the grass box. The one with the grass box you then got to uh, you got a fill level on but uh, you then got to go and empty it. So any last straggly bits, in theory, as a as a gardener, I think you would come back round with a strimmer and give them a strim because you can't always get into it. But this is lawn mowing simulator and not uh, strimming simulator. Yeah, first impressions. I really like it. It's uh, really uh, sort of therapeutic. I think it's be brilliant if it's ever you know multiplayer capabilities so you had you know huge gardens so you could have a couple of you going round so the other person that you had as an employee you could actually have as like two player multiplayer so you'd have you both on one uh, on one lawn that'd be quite cool Yeah, I'm interested to see how it gets to uh, when you do get another employee. As I said, you can choose the employee and choose the uh, the mower. So I said on that live stream, hopefully uh, we'll get to the point where we can buy another mower and uh, have an employee. And then I'm guessing we take a contract. Uh, they would then go and do that contract. And uh, we must have to pay them a salary. Um, to uh, then go and uh, mow that grass. I'll finish this bit down by this side of this flower bed. So this bit's done. Didn't do a little bit in the gateway either. So let's go and do that. So then down this side is done. So 
so 87% complete, lots of overlap yeah I really do like this I can see me spending uh, a lot of time in this, it's definitely just really relaxing just going round and round to uh, the lawn so we'll end when we uh, finish this uh, lawn first uh, first look at this I destroyed a flower oh no I am a flower destroyer. Let's just uh, do that. Yeah, graphically, I really like it. Oh, I've got to get my view back. There we go. Right, 93% done. Sure, you can't finish and leave that big bit in the middle. It's like, uh, yeah, you might not have quite completed my lawn there. There's a big bit you've sort of missed. Ninety-eight point eight. There we go. Got incomplete. Well, not quite. I've got to go and do this bit. There we go. That's good enough for me. Reverse onto the trailer. isn't easy with the view like that. There we go. There we go. Old Nook Cottage, front garden. When you get a bit of a flyby as to uh, how you've done. I think that looks alright. Okay, it's a little bit there by the flowers I've missed. But yeah, it's fine. So there we go, we got uh, 355 uh, for that, penalties and fines, we killed a flower, lost three quid, oh, flower destroyed one, we got a penalty and fine for three pounds for something. Um, so yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad at all. This is a vehicle garage. You can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. Let's uh, select your current vehicle so you can maintain it. Uh, so we can repair the vehicle, which we don't need to really. Repair the engine, repair the blades, or fill it um, for refuel. There we go. So that's ready to go for the next one. Attachments, statistics, sell vehicle, part exchange vehicle. So we have a quick scroll through the vehicles that are available. So that's the one we've got. That's the other one that you can start with. Then you've got uh, the larger one, the larger version of the one we've got. Uh, and then up again, so lots of the Moultrie type. So uh, they do get a bit bigger, that thing's a beast. Uh, and then up and up and up. So quite a few uh, different vehicles. So obviously from a completionist point of view, uh, you'd like to uh, have them all. So 
so there we go. Uh, we will end there. Our first little look uh, at uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator, a game that, uh, yeah, I really do like. Uh, don't forget, if you are watching this on the day that it goes live on YouTube, uh, the day of release, so tomorrow, uh, the Tuesday, I will be streaming this on Twitch. So check that out uh, in the Twitch page uh, link below. Uh, also check out uh, the link to the uh, Discord server as well. Uh, that'll be down there. And of course, a link to where you can purchase the game. We'll carry this on then on that live stream that will then go on youtube in the future in case you don't get to watch it live uh give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit subscribe to see more content from me but until the next time if you have been thanks very very much for watching